Thank you for watching Virginia this morning. Our, our next guest is a popular mom coach and entrepreneur today. She is going to talk about the five things you should leave behind in 2021. I don't think these are limited just to our mom friends either. We welcome our great friend of the show, Deborah yeah. Porter, back to Virginia this morning. Deborah, always awesome to see you always great to be with you guys. You guys are hilarious. Sometimes I wish the viewers could hear what's going on during commercial break. It's <laughs> hysterical. Or maybe not. Hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's always a lot happening. That's true. Yeah, there hysterical. Is. I love it. I love it. I'll start off, Deborah, because um, I, I'm this first one is so important. I think, um, you know, when, when uh, I was in my early 20s, uh, my dad had a talk with me or my kids were, you know, getting to that age. I said, you've got to set some boundaries. Some of your friends you're going to have to leave behind because they were great, like buddies in high school to hang around with or whatever. But you're going into a profession now, you're going to college at whatever. You're going to have to kind of set some some clear boundaries on what works and what doesn't. Absolutely. So in 2021, we're leaving blurry boundaries behind. We're going to let our yes be yes and our no be no. And the reason for that is because when you have blurry boundaries, that leads to vague communication. It leads to um, unmet expectations. It leads to assumptions and misunderstandings. And so it's just really important to know what you're going to do, what you're not going to do, where your boundaries are set. If you're someone that has a hard time saying no, or um, you're a people pleaser, you want to make everyone happy, which moms, that's one of the things that we, many of us really struggle with, then, then this that's a key. Any of those things are a key for you that you may have some blurry boundaries and it's going to be important to kind of, you know, firm up, firm up those boundaries. I was going to ask Deborah. then, you know, we, we've, we talk so often about boundaries. Is there a great place to start? But I think it was a simple two letters, one word. And oh, that's a great place to start. And, and for a lot of us, saying no is really difficult because we're then assuming, well, they're going to be mad at me or they're going to think I'm not wanting to be involved or that I don't like them. And generally, none of those things are true. But here's the thing. Even if that is true, it's more important that you live within your boundary then you choose to please everyone else because then you have the burden of that that you're carrying, that you're now stepping outside of what feels right or feels comfortable to, to you or for you because you want to, you know, be nice and not be mean. And it's a great, you can say no without being mean. That's right. You can and say I, no with a smile. I think there's a, a conscientiousness in, in giving that direct answer too. N-O, and then yeah. we all know where we stand. Absolutely. Yeah. It's freeing. It really so, is. Deborah, you're known as the mom coach, and um, one of the things you have on your list to leave behind is mom burnout. And of course, you know, uh, uh, as Jess pointed out, these don't necessarily have to apply to moms; they're for everybody. That's true. Burnout is something that many of us suffer from. But here's the thing: whenever someone tells me, or one of the moms I'm working with says she's suffering from burnout, here's one thing I know right out the gate: she's choosing to take self care and make it optional. And what I want us to do in 2022 is normalize rest, normalize putting yourself first, normalize listening to the cues that your body is giving you. Our body is giving us cues all the time about what it needs, whether we're thirsty, if we're tired. And, you know, one mom said, well, that sounds great. Are you going to come watch my baby while all this rest and normalizing is going on? So the thing is, you've got to communicate to the people that love you that are in your village. You've got to be able to say, hey, I need a minute. Like I'm pretty much at the end of my rope here. I need a minute. So that's when we get back to the blurry boundaries and the vague communication. You've got to make self-care important. And I'm not talking about a mani-pedi. That's more maintenance. I'm talking about internal work that's going to help you to be able to show up as your best self every day. Allowing yourself to sit down for a moment because that's a repowering, right? Like it's an active active reinvestment in yourself. A lot of Absolutely. folks are, are really uh, challenged with not feeling like they're rising to the occasion, fear of not being enough. And this is definitely something that you're saying leave behind in 2021. 
yeah, let's settle this whole imposter syndrome thing. And and listen, we struggle with that at home, at work. There are many venues that we have to step into that we don't feel like we're measuring up or we're enough. Or if I was thinner, then this could happen. For me, I always wanted to be taller. I'm five one. So if I was taller, I could wear that fashion or I could do that thing. Listen, all of that needs to be pushed to the side because when we're struggling with things like that, Many times at the core of that is that we want perfection. We want the thing to be perfect. We want to be whatever that perfect weight is or that perfect height is or the perfect mom. Here's the thing. Perfection isn't even real. It's we're striving for it and it's robbing us of our peace all the time. So let's accept where we are. Better can happen right now, understanding that better does not mean perfect. Life is made up of all these little imperfect moments, and that's kind of what weaves together the great life that we get to live. Deborah, we're just about out of time. We said that you were offering five great tips, and we've really focused in on three of them. The other two you're recommending? The other two, rushing the process. Listen, healing takes time. Growth takes time. We like to slap a Band-Aid where we may need a cast or a brace. So allow yourself the time that you need to be able to work through whatever it is you're feeling. It's okay. We have to stop saying it's fine. Let's leave that term in 2021. It's fine. I'm fine. And everybody in the house knows you are not fine. This is not good. So let's, (laughs) instead of saying it's fine, I'm fine. I need a minute. I'm still processing. I don't want to talk about it right now. And Jess, I think you even offered in one of these segments, I'm not at my best today. Just give me a moment. Mm -hmm. So that's number four. And then number five is cluttered emotions. And this is something that we all battle through. We're looking at the world and our lives through this haze of hurt feelings, past emotions, disappointments, letdowns. Listen, I'm asking everybody in 2022, let's pack light. Let's leave all of that stuff behind. Let's live in the moment. Let's be present in the moment. It's my job to make me happy. And I choose joy today. And I love, I still love, you don't have to attend every argument you are invited to. Deborah, that one I'm (laughs) cross-stitching on a pillow. (laughs) Thank you so much. Always awesome talking with you. Thanks, Deborah. Have a great day. Thanks. So, Jess, you remembered that one from last year about you don't have to attend every argument. Um, I remember uh, try to stop saying I'm sorry about everything. You know, it's like stop apologizing for everything because it's not your fault and think of something else to say that's more appropriate. And so it's, it's interesting. We got five today. We got probably five last New Year's. And you remembered one and I remembered at least one. So that's pretty darn good. It's about like my average with where that come from. Oh, boy. For more information (laughs) on this conversation or Deborah's Mom's Mentoring Circle, we'll have a direct link on our website later today, wtvr.com slash btm. And there are several ways you can see Virginia this morning. You can stream us live, the live show from 9 to 10 a.m. on wtvr.com. Our, our segments are posted on our show website at WTVR.com slash BTM. And if you're on the go, you can also watch our live show on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Android TV channels. Just search WTVR Richmond in your app store. Stay with us. There's still much more Virginia this morning ahead to enjoy right after the break. <laughs> 